here to decorate my tree with you guys. I am so excited because of course it's been a whole year and I love Christmas. Oh my gosh, do I love Christmas. It takes everything in me to wait till the day after Remembrance Day, but of course, all the respect for Remembrance Day, and I do wait. I'm ready to decorate my tree. I wanted to take you guys along on my journey because I have some tips to share with you guys that I hope will help you in your decorating journey of your tree. So I have four tips. Hopefully they'll help you in your journey. If you don't wanna try these tips, Fill your boots, do it the way you do it. I'm sure you have a great time. At the end of the day, all that matters is you get it done, right? So for me, I have a lot of decor. So my first tip has to do with getting yourself organized before you actually start decorating your tree. It takes a little extra time to do it this way, but it saves you time in the long run. So what I do is I get all my decor out of the boxes, out of the wrapping, and completely ready to go onto the tree. Now, the reason why I do that is because previous years, I used to just unpack one box at a time and get it onto the tree. And then as I was going through my boxes, I would find things that I wanted to put in different spots. And then you're just basically redecorating the tree as you go. It saves you time to get it all out. You know where to start. You kind of have an idea of where you want to put things already. So that's my tip number one. Tip number two has to do with the starting stage of your tree. So please don't forget to fluff your tree. Your tree has been in a box, cooped up, wrapped up for an entire year. It's super important that you, when you put it together that you fluff it, which means every single branch, you need to pull each branch out and make it look nice and full and fluffy. Is a lot of work, 110%. However, it will make all the difference on a beautiful, full looking tree of making sure that you do do that. Now, this is a step and a step. So this is totally optional. It depends on what kind of tree you have and what your preference is. I love a really nice, full looking tree. And this one, as you can see, it isn't super, super full. You can see all the way to the back to the wall in behind and there is a solve for that. You can go to Michael's, the dollar store, Canadian Tire, probably Walmart, and you can get the strings of garland and you can wrap it on the inside of your tree. So of course, not too far out this way because that's where you want your decorations to go, but kind of more the middle closest to where your actual pole of the um, inside of the tree is and you can wrap it around and that will fill up your tree really nice and full, really luxurious looking. So I'm not doing that this year. I'm gonna give this tree a try without it because this is my first year with this tree. I had previously had a seven and a half before and as you guys can see i have a very large living room so i decided i wanted to do a nine foot tree i might have enough decor to fill in all of that so i'm just going to give it a try and see how we go so that's a step and a step so the next step that i feel a lot of people don't know about and has been a game changer for myself is making sure that i start with the large ticket items first. So your large pieces of, or of ornaments, decor, whatever it is you're using on your tree, start there first. Then you move to your medium and then you move to your small ornaments. This is going to make your tree look very organized, cohesive, and you won't be struggling to have to remove things as you go. So that's a huge help. The other very last step is making sure you do the zigzag pattern. Now I've been doing it for years and I feel like it again makes for a really organized, very thought out looking tree. When it's done, you can tell every individual item was put where it is for a reason and that's due to the zigzag. So what I do is usually two zigzags and I start at the bottom and I will put it Maybe, let's start here, okay. I'll put a ornament there, I'll come up and then 
over and then I will do that all the way up until the large decor doesn't look right where it is. So I don't always take my large decor all the way to the top, but I will definitely do it with medium and then the small. And then because it's a round tree, I will go to the other side and I will do that same zigzag formation. Okay. Now, then what you do after you've got your big ornaments on, you start to fill in with your medium ornaments, but following that same zigzag process. And I find that once your tree is done, it looks incredibly organized. It looks very intentional. Give it a try, you might like it. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna actually just get started for my tree and we'll see how much we can get done today. anything that's sparkly you can hit it with hairspray it doesn't make it perfect but it definitely helps the sparkles stay on the ornament I typically spray all of my decor when it comes into the house you can't find anything for Christmas that doesn't have sparkles puked all over it so I mean you just have to go with it but Anyway, it works pretty good. I mean, you still get sparkles everywhere. I'll be cleaning sparkles for like nine months. I think I just got rid of them. <laughs> I totally got really excited because I wanted to put those decorations up, but I have ribbon. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do exactly what I told you guys not to do, and I'm gonna put the ribbon on after, but at least I haven't gotten all the other decorations on. So yeah, anyway, we all make mistakes, right? Another really important part of decorating your tree is you need to stand back and look at it. Because as much as the zigzag approach works, it's a great place to get you started, but you have to come back and look. What does it look like? So that's what I do. Every time I kind of put an area up, I will stand back, take a look, see if it needs to be replaced. If I'm on the right track, I keep going. But that's gonna make a huge difference on what your tree looks like at the end as well. These, of course, at any craft store. Michael's usually has something like this, and I feel like it gives it a really nice depth and something different, just something a little bit more robust.
I am finished. It's now taken me two days to do all of my decorating for Christmas. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how totally impressed I am that I managed to do all of this without getting any sparkles in my eyes. That is typically what happens every single year. I was actually considering wearing a pair of goggles while I did all of the Christmas decorating because I thought I just, I can't stand that feeling of having a sparkle in your eye and then it doesn't go away for so long and it hurts so bad. If you have an opportunity to pick yourself up one of these little remote controls for your tree, you will not regret it. Even though the foot step one usually comes with most trees, this is even easier. I love this thing I've had for a few years and I definitely wouldn't live without it. So yes, pick yourself up one of these if you get an opportunity. Without further ado, I'll take you guys through my decor. If you guys enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing below and I hope you have a really wonderful week and I'll see you next weekend. Bye!